Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how you can create a free staging environment in your hosting or account so that you can make changes on your staging website instead of production. And once the changes are done, you can simply push them. But the disclaimer here is the staging environment creation option is not available in the basic plan. And if you don't have the hosting or account, then you can go buy now from my given link in the description. You will get up to 75% off. And not only this, if you use my coupon code, special coupon code, then you will also get 10% additional discount on your final billing, which you can enjoy. So overall discount will be up to 85%. So enjoy the discount and enjoy the hosting or services. So first of all, in order to create a staging environment you must have set up all the things already like if you have already domain connected hosting connected and everything then only this option will work so once you are on your computer screen first you need to log into your hosting or account so i am already in my hosting or account you just need to enter your username and password once you are on your hosting or account you will see your hosting plan so i have the cloud hosting package so i will I have three website in it and for one of the website, I will create a staging environment. So I will just click on manage option. I will click on manage option. And once I am on my dashboard from the left hand side, this drop down, I will select my domain name for which I need to create the staging environment. So I will select the domain name. And once I select the domain name, I need to simply scroll down to the WordPress option, WordPress option and click on overview, click on overview. Now, once you are in this option, now here you will see an option called staging. Once you click on this, here it says create staging environment for my given domain that is rapidlearning.site. I will click on create staging and the subdomain or the name of the staging, you can simply give it as a standard that is staging.rapidlearning.site. So this will be my the URL for staging environment. Now create option. And once you click on create button, now it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes to create the staging environment. But once it is done, you can simply come back and check. You will see the staging environment here. The credentials for your main website will be same as your staging website. So once you make all the changes on staging website and once you are done with the changes and tested properly on staging, then you can simply publish it. So once the staging creation process is completed and if you come back and refresh the website once, so you will see that the staging is created and the URL for staging is staging.rapidlearning.site. If you click on this option, you will see that exact replica of your main website is created because you can see this is our main website rapidlearning.site and this is our staging that is staging.rapidlearning.site and the credentials for WP admin is as same. Now, if you want to make changes on your staging and want to push on the production to so how to do that, so there's a button called manage staging, click on manage staging. And once you click on manage staging, it will give you the option to log in, of course, and you can directly log in with your uh, WordPress credential as well. So let's log into staging environment and we'll make some changes on the home page and then we will push it to the production so that we can see if the changes are reflected or not. So let's go to the website and let's change this heading for now just to understand whether the changes are being reflected on staging or not so just change this staging uh, change this heading of course so let's just change it so we'll just change it to say this is staging heading right so whatever changes you want to make just make and publish the changes i am just to save time i am not making too many changes now you can see that heading has been changed, but on my main website, the heading is something different because I have changed it on a staging only. Now, once my changes are done, how to make it public. So again, come back to the hosting a dashboard and on staging option. Now, if you see there is a three dot click on this dot and there is an option called publish publish means whatever the current version of staging environment is, it will publish to the main production site. So just click on publish and it says publish to main website. Yes. Click on publish. And again, it is now in progress and it may be done within max 15 minutes, depending on the size of the website, of course. So you can close it and you, you can say the status is deploying. Uh, let's say if I refresh, of course, it will it may take up to 15 minutes, but let's say if it is done in within one or two minutes or not, it stays, uh, it still says deploying. So of course, we need to wait based on the size of the uh, website. So let's go back to the main website. Let's try to refresh once. 
and see if the changes are done no not done because it is still in deploying mode once it is done the changes will be reflected on the main website as well so let let's wait for this process to be finished so once the deploying is finished you can see there is an option called completed staging push is completed and now if i come back to my live website this was the content before the pushing and now if i refresh the website now you can see the content has been changed because this was on staging and not on live but as soon as i push all the you know entire staging onto live the content whatever was there on the staging has now pushed on the live website now what are the advantages advantages is so first you can create and test all the things on staging properly you can make sure that nothing is working you know nothing is nothing is breaking nothing is going wrong and once you are satisfied and tested and then you can push it to the live website so that your user experience will not be disturbed and your live website will not be hampered this is a very useful option this is a very standard option which i recommend every wordpress developer to follow but the only case is that you this option is you know uh, supported by only few of the hosting providers like hostinger so if you don't have any account on hostinger i would request to switch to hostinger to use such kind of amazing options and you can check out the latest offer by clicking on the below link and you will get up to 75% discount plus if you use my special coupon code then you will also get additional 10% discount on your files and billing this way you will get overall 85% discount on your overall purchase explore hostinger offers amazing options and go and check it out the latest offer i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day